well, 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 <laughs> we are here today, y'all. It is Mary and Amma. And we invite you guys to like, mm, share, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> because today, we don't talk about sex, baby. Let's That's talk about you and me. Clayton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We are doing The Bachelor. <laughs> And Gabby's like, Ooh, I don't want child. nothing off the table. I want him to explore everything. Everything. All everything. the anime cities. All the anime cities. Yes. 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 Gabby, Girl. I don't know. But I just want to say this, though. I don't like how they set them up. They set them up. Because first, oh wait, how did it first go? Clayton said that no, he first is started. definitely feeling physical Attraction. Attraction. To all of them. Mm-hmm. That's literally how the show started. We're yes. talking about physical attraction. Yes. This man is living the dream. <laughs> then Gabby says, Oh, you know, I don't want nothing to be off the table. For the fantasy I'm... suites. I want him to explore. And, you know, everything. And then, of course, and, and Jesse and rolls up in the whip. And whatever. Yep. And then then Jesse, Jesse rolls up and he's like, oh, So, this you know, tonight so is important. fantasy suite. This is so important. Yeah. This is the most important week. You know, so you will just be getting very Im- intimate, intimate time, yes. conversations, intimate time, yes. and uninterrupted. <laughs> you know, time. no cameras will be there. Yes. So it's like y'all are like prodding them then to they started realize asking that them questions about intimacy, like on like their confessional. Yes. Like talking to Susie, I you know because Clayton says he has sex with two, has sex with two women. Mm-hmm. I know it's Rachel, and I know it is um Joy. Joy. Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's Rachel and J- J- Gabby. Yes. Okay, so I know Susie is like well, I don't, don't want. Yeah, you are. Assu- you're, you're, I you're, am you're, assuming because yeah. Susie's the only one that seems really reserved said, about it. Well, she said that she is not gonna have sex with someone except she has a commitment. Yeah. And that's I guess when she got a ring on her finger, which or, I like, think is right. Exclusive, and that's not the case right now. Yeah. So I think that is a very smart choice. I mm-hmm. hope she did not, yeah. but we don't know because we have not seen the the um everything go up in flames yet. <laughs> I'm waiting for the gasoline to be lit. Yeah. Um, but well, they set them up real good. Yeah, because y'all they're talking about sex and everything like that. It just I don't know. It just feel like pressuring. Kind of is, yeah, it's situating that you know. I mean, you guys have to go all the way. If you if y'all you gotta wanna... give this man this good sex, y'all gotta put it on him, on him <laughs> to ensure that you know you get chosen in the end, you which know, is not you don't guaranteed. Leave any stone unturned. This man only gonna go with one person. Okay, he's not choosing two. Yeah. See, so I much rather if it was me, I much oh, rather yeah. not have sex. So if you don't choose me, my my emotions might be involved, but my physical was not. It's yeah. not like yeah. oh my god, I had sex with this person, he didn't yeah. even choose me. Yeah. And then he had oh oh did I forget to tell you I had sex with three other women. Oh, and I'm all in love and I'm in love with all of you. Yeah. I'll just jump. Because <laughs> it's too much. Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, not, so, not, not, not I'll jump off a clip, but no. just like jump up and down. No, like, I'm so upset. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Probably you know? jump him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so that's what I think. Yeah. But he had a date with Rachel. Oh, she seemed kind of reserved. I know. She, her, she's just been yeah, off. She's been a little off ever since she gossiped about Sarah. And it started to and, fake and, cry. And it started to fake cry. I think Clayton saw another side of her. Yeah. Her, though. Yeah. And um, so she seemed a little off. They both seemed kind of off. Yeah, but and they kept said, on smiling at weird times. It was weird. Just Very like, weird. Mm-hmm. It was odd. And then she all but said, you know, I mean, I need, you know, like. like I, she basically prodded him, like, you, you know? love me? You love and me? You love me? You love me? You love me? And then he finally <laughs> said, oh, yeah, he does love me. And then, she, and then my thing, I, I feel falling. like she said, well, I'm not to you. say, well, not to say that he's a player or anything. Yeah. But I feel like she kind of set him up because she was like, you know, going into tonight, I really didn't know if I wanted to go because you had to let me know your feelings. So right. I was really unsure. Exactly. So my thing is, what if he decides to go with that strategy for the rest of the women to see? Because I feel like it's a little weird. That he's waiting till fantasy suite to say I love you. Well, I personally would have done him, what Kate did and not say I love you to anybody until I know that's my person. Who? who did you know Katie? She said, remember oh, Katie, the you. one with the vibrator? Okay, I didn't watch her season. Yeah. 
But she did not. She saved her I love you for the last person she was going to be with. She didn't say that to anybody. Yeah. So for me personally, Clayton, this is so close. I think it's a horrible decision to yeah. say I'm going to be super open now. Yeah. So when I dump you, I'm going to have you more effed up because yeah. I said I love you. Yeah. But, oh, I don't want to marry you, though. Yeah. I love you enough to have sex with you, get your emotion involved, but not put a ring on your finger. Yeah. And I think it's a bad time to say that. You should have just stuck with it until yeah. you chose your person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now you here looking crazy, and your dad like, yeah, you barking up well, the wrong tree. Well, we have tree. not reached that part yet. Well, I've seen the previews. I know. Let's see what happens. But Gabby is now on her dates, and she is open, honey. She's open. She is ready. She's ready for she, everything. For him to Nothing will be off the table. Every, yes. Except for my booty and his hands on my booty. <laughs> While she's cooking, he was, you know, he was behind like, her and all. He don't cook the bacon. He don't cook the bacon. It was eggs, it wasn't it bacon. Uh, <laughs> it was just too much. Then he put her on the table with the roll. Then he had all his nipples showing. Yeah, I was like, bit. nipple gate? Excuse me? Well, you know, Rachel and Brian, there was a nipple gate too there. <laughs> Let me watch five balls. Dates. I yeah. thought Rachel's date was kind of mediocre. Oh, yeah. You take me. I mean, the no, helicopter ride Pino was nice, but I'm looking at nothing Pino. but. I mean, I'm looking at nothing but vacant land. I mean, and hills. Yeah. I mean, and then you take me inside a volcano to risk my life. No, you can go by your damn self. I'll be here cheer you on, bro. <laughs> I mean, this is fun. I would love to do that. Yeah, you know. But I just thought the date with Rachel was mediocre. Yeah. This seems more fun and giddy. Yeah. You know, something Gabby would like. Yeah. So he really thought about that. Yeah. I think Gabby and Susie are in the top. And I really thought Rachel I was in the top. I know. But after she gossiped. And fake cried. About Sarah and then fake cried. You will see his face. Something turned in him. And remember that day, Susie wasn't there. Yeah. But I don't think Gabby was. was, was Gabby, Gabby was there. there. Okay. Gabby was there. But she didn't say much. Yeah. She was just like, yeah, she did. But, you know, I don't know. But even though she was the one talking quite a bit, but when she came to Clayton, she didn't go. Whereas um, Rachel went into how she was thinking about leaving and all kinds of things. I'm sure when he sits back, he's like, someone says something, you think about leaving? Like, how much do you love me then? Well, I mean, how much do you trust me? Exactly. You know? Because, like, I realize how serious... My thing is, I can love you, but the thing is, you're still dating 10 other women. I can love you, though, but it's a limit. Yes. The more I think about it, I just think it's not genuine. Yeah. Like, yeah. my thing is, he's, like, remember in the confessional, he said, there is potential for me to fall in love with all three of these women. Yes. Right? But now it just seems like he has put in his mind. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell everybody that I love them. That's why I'm saying it just seems inge ingenuine. Yes. Because why? Yes. You wait until Serena left for her to teach you the lesson about opening up. Opening up. For you to come and tell all three of them. up to her the way you should have. But you told her brother, though, that... You didn't see the love. The love was there. I mean, you told weren't her brother, even think so, you didn't think you could get there. And she's later on gonna see that. Like they hadn't watched it yet. But I don't she know. But I'm sure see. the brother told her though when she's she got home and she was crying on his shoulder, all that Maybe stuff. He did not because you know how you know brothers try to protect their sisters. Well, I'm pretty sure she saw it already because that you know, already they happened. hadn't watched it yet. Because when they went there, they hadn't watched it yet. I, they said that this was the first time they were seeing clips of themselves. Yeah. On the thing. So I don't know when they did it. It wasn't like a live. No, but I mean, Crazy says that he has been watching the show back. Like the rest of them, though. Well, I don't I don't know how he's watching the show back. Because Sarah... I mean, because it's on TV right now, Genevieve, Mom. they said that they hadn't watched it. Or maybe they hadn't watched... I, I don't know. I maybe don't they know. haven't watched the last two episodes. Because maybe they waited two weeks before, you know, you know, Fantasy maybe. Suites to record it. 
Right. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And then they recorded. Maybe they didn't see everything. Yeah. The latter. The last. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. But that's why I just feel like it's ingenuine because yeah. you basically have said, I'm going to tell every single last one of them that I love them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because. And now even with Gabby, it's like, you're like, we're here because. You opened you, up. You opened up first. You, you let me know you love me first. So now I'm wondering if he is a manipulator. Yeah, and I don't want to say that about Clay because he really does not he seem like a player. A play, a he seems but... like a country boy, but like I said, that just got caught up. But my thing is, I know he says that he is only handling the best way that he thought. Maybe he just doesn't have knowledge. Because like he even said during the thing, this is a dream. It's like, you know, I went to sleep. I was dating 30 <laughs> women. I went back to my regular life. And I came back and I'm back in the dream. That's so why this was seriously a, a serious fantasy and for one him. man... The man, even a good man, will get corrupted. <laughs> it's <laughs> facts. Many women. Yeah. Even a good man will get corrupted. And guess what? I'm not saying he's good because I'm looking at him here and I'm just wondering if he's manipulating. I just think he has really been thinking with his penis a lot. A lot. Because the physical attraction, you keep it Sinead for seven damn weeks. Well, she should have been her her ass should have been out there. Because Second she was, week, she was she was giving him scenes. All the sex from, on from, the table from, was coming from, to uh, him. Uh, love with, show or something. Oh my! And then Baywatch, remember in her red swimsuit, <laughs> lip hair, lip hair, <laughs> and then wrapping her legs around him said, <sighs> "Ask you other chicks." See, I'm giving him his hands right now. This is why he want me. Yes, y'all boring. <laughs> And that's why, you know, at the end, his penis just said, he had to shrivel up and be like, look, man, you have to think with your actual head. Yeah. The one that's up here. Yeah. Because this one ain't, it ain't working. It became too obvious. Yeah. Okay, it's but, I don't know. He, anyways, now, we all know Gabby's accepting it, so. I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> Thank Gabby. you. Like, and, and my thing is, he doesn't say it throughout the whole day, but he waits till five minutes before we have to go to the suite before he gives to you go the and envelope. say it. The envelope. Before he gives you the envelope to, okay, we doing this shebang? And then he says, the I love you. At her. And he's, but the thing is, he's saying it the same exact way. I'm falling in love with you. I'm falling in love with you. And he got her a hot tub. Because Gabby is so ready and open. She is and this ready. girl is literally, she has like that bedtime a hair. Slip, a slip dress. Mom, like this, about the, the skirt is covering about this much of her booty. This much. That's how short it is. And then, but that is She's really ready. pretty though. I mean, like, look at the bed, and then you have oh, like yeah, the yeah, window, and you get to look at the beautiful, stars. Very beautiful. Feels so right. My thing is also the date with Gabby. Look at the fire going. And then he got the fur on the bed. She, got, she, she said, forget the... Uh... I think this, I think it's very telling. The way he did this whole like, shebang with Rachel versus Gabby. Gabby's is so pretty. It's so intentional. But he's not the one who makes the scene. I think no, but I'm very... sure that he, you know, gives his little two-pointers. Spiraling emotionally. Spiraling. <laughs> Girl with your sweater so and red Susie, pants. Susie has put in her mind that she's gonna be with him. I can't, like grasp the concept of it. For me, sex is connective with somebody. Yeah, it is. I just hope that like Clay is on the same page and sees it from my perspective. Girl, by. <laughs> a cheek from Gabby. Look at her! Look at them! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, I saw underwear! Oh, she at least she's wearing underwear. He had to stop this because he remembered there was cameras there, but he was, he would have gone right through, honey, and just... <laughs> this is a Susie! <laughs> it's look, y'all, 
Because if Susie ends up with Clayton, that girl is going to literally murder that man in his sleep. Especially well, literally with a pair of hair scissors. No, they're just gonna go and shoot him in the neck. Okay, you know something? <laughs> you be watching way too much murder shows. That's okay? what I'm saying. The way she acting though, I just hope he's on the same upset. page as me. You know. She just doesn't want him to be intimate with other people. That's why you're having sex and then some. You're having it on the kitchen table. He having it in the jacuzzi. He having it behind the stars, underneath the stars. He having it on the fur. He having it on the bearskin rug. He having it everywhere, girl. <laughs> you better get yourself together. Because that man is dipping and shucking and jiving. He's saying, he's not saying, I love you. He's saying, I'm in love with you. No, he said, I'm falling for you. Falling in love with you. It still, it's the same thing. <laughs> So, girl, you better just um collect the little brain cells that are there after all the pain you're going through. I wonder and if just... he's going to tell Susie, I'm in love with you, or if he's going to say, I'm falling. Because when you say I'm falling, it's like it's actively like still happening. But you're not, not totally yet. in love. You're falling. It's like a And continuum. he said the same thing to Gabby and, and Rachel. Rachel. He Let's said the same exact says. way. To Susie. Now he says, I'm in love with you, Susie. Then maybe that's who he's going home with. But um, my thing is Will she go home with him? But my thing is, I felt like, you know when I see they showed the preview the, and he said he has sex with two people. Right? We obviously know it's Rachel and Gabby by this time. Yeah, but Rachel was like, they had a good night. Yeah, and Susie's having a mental breakdown. And I mean of course Clayton's nipples were all out in the open. We could see the areola and everything else and the chest hair. Well he didn't have any chest hair. I was shocked. I thought he would be a hairy guy. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> you know, I think he shaves it down a little bit. I think so. You think and he the shaves? reason why I think so is because he, all his arms are hairy. His arms and his knuckles are hairy. And apparently he got toe hairs. But Gabby said that he should shave his toe hairs instead of having them out there. I don't like think a that gorilla. makes sense. Like, it as like. I mean, if you have hair hair on your arm and you have hair on your knuckles, which is a lot, then just keep it on your chest. Let it all look no. aesthetically pleasing. Well, instead of having your bare skin not, chest looking not, like some twelve year old boy. No, he's you know? not like a twelve year old boy for sure. That man ain't built like no twelve year old boy. I know boy. <laughs> I mean, yes, I mean, damn, we fine, he's fucking strong, but I mean, my thing is... You're not going to confuse I that chest for no... <laughs> <laughs> well, you get your head out the gutter. Get your head out the gutter! Oh, my goodness gracious. Look, mom, get it together. Get it together. What I was saying is <laughs> when a man has little hair on his chest, it's a little bit more, you okay, know, it's bad. grown. The, the chest hair. <laughs> now we're going to see his chest again. Okay. Her dress is on the, oh my God. The dress she ain't got no bra on. Oh, he's not showing his areola. Okay, she no, has no, her she outfit has, on. Yeah, she has her outfit. Well, the way they did it was like she had nothing on. Yeah. So. Well, he has a t-shirt. Okay, they fell asleep. There's no areolas going on today. Yeah. His arms are hairy as shit. Black guy Looking like Tarzan. Like no, I'm kidding. It, was so <laughs> special. Like, it didn't feel like the first time. I with love men who were here. new. It felt like the comfortability of like home. Uh -huh. So she said sex. She what? said it. She said it did not feel like the first time with somebody new. Uh -huh. It just felt like home. It's like no pressure. Look at her hair. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. It just feels like everything's gonna work out. Mom mm. loves that little tequila. And I just wanna cheers to that. Oh, you're so sweet. With Gabby, I really The bed is so damn nice though. I came in front. They're easy. Like they're easy and they just fit. It makes sense. There's no like She's fear. feeding There's no him. Pressure. There's no stress. It's just like let's just continue to grow. Last night, we had so much fun with you, more than I could have ever expected, and it feels so right. Thank you. You're easy to fall in love with. I am falling more in love with her with everything.
appropriate moment that we have. Okay, well, I have to go. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. It is to go. He wanted to go. No. It's hard. But it feels really good to be able to uh, tell Gabby my feelings and not uh, hold back any longer from what she means to me. Hey, Gabby, one more thing. I just want you to know that I am falling in love and it feels so good. Aww. <laughs> See, he actually likes Gabby, I think. She has grown on The family. fantasy. <laughs> But Clayton is living in a romance so novel, bruh. Full throttle. Feeling having to mm. watch this again. I, mean, I'm sh- I know how tough it feels right now. I can't let yeah. it go. I don't know. I'm just, I'm getting through. I don't know how you're doing it because. Mm. Oh. Hi. You guys look cute. Look at her hair. Girl, you don't brush your hair in the morning. I know what she's wearing. Welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. Now home to Clayton, boo, where I was laying up with your man, um, spreading like butter. Oh, <gasps> what? Yeah. I'm scared because he's a maniac. <laughs> 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 and then he stayed in like uh, like a yurt. Like, have you seen one of those oh, yurts? Really? It was small, um, but there's like a huge bed in the middle, just like with all these like cute blankets and mm-hmm. stuff. Like you felt good right now. Uh oh, Rachel is gonna be like, I was in a hotel room. Yeah. Yeah. She got a bed head. Yeah. This is always a mess. Is it okay? Mm hmm. Ah! That's it! Susan looks pissed as shit! I don't know what happened. Nobody's like sharing what he's expressed to them like it's very possible that Clayton's either like falling in love with somebody else or has been like physically intimate with somebody else and like well at least you get to like if go Clayton and I are moving forward you should not worry about somebody else go worry about yourself boo You know it in your chest because that girl came in there looking like she had 10 shots of tequila with her hair undone and thing all falling off the shoulder. And I know, whatever she was wearing, like, oh my god, is it okay? Is it okay? She's that, yeah, like, no, it's not okay. The whole night did, the morning did, and then all of a sudden, everything came crashing back in. I now realize I've told Sue I'm in love with him. I also know that I could feel that way with Susie. And so now, a thousand percent, I'm going to absolutely shatter somebody. I just don't want to hurt anybody. I'm coming to Clayton, Susie's been crying for 10 days. It's too late. <laughs> okay. sexy when he cries. I can't even lie. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was just the one teardrop for me, honey. He was like, that man fine as hell. All I'll say is, do not go and dump on Susie. <laughs> she needs your comfort more than you need hers. Because like you said, she has been crying. For 10 days. Oh, child. Look, man. This is I mean, I just think the Wahala. Someone is going to get hurt. I remember last season when Brandon got so hurt, and he was crying. You know, so hard. You were so hurt. Can you we not so- remind? Can we not remember to remind the audience how I acted like an ass? <laughs> you were so hurt. No, you did, but you really. Felt I was for so him. pissed. You really because I'm for like, him. girl, you could have had Brandon, of a creme de la creme man that yeah. I would have been. Happy to have. Yes. You just wasted him for 10 earrings. Great value, Chris Brown. Really? I know he tall, 
But Brandon talk anyway. Okay. I ain't finna go there. Maybe Chris Brown is the great value at this point. <laughs> no, because Chris Brown is a billionaire. Okay. He's a millionaire. Whatever. He's still fine as hell with his tattoos and his earrings and his slim build. I love me some Chris he Brown. Treat, I remember. He, he doesn't treat women right though. So I'm talking about the aesthetics. Me, I'm not talking about the morals. Thank for you. Me, that's <laughs> so Nate might be to you. Chris Brown might be the great value. Well, we are talking purely Nate. aesthetics. Okay. But yeah, I was very hurt for Brandon. Yeah. And now he is going to paradise. I think either this is a rebound thing, maybe, um, maybe but I don't want to see you know, him in that light, though. I don't. No, no. I want to see him in the good light. Well, see, I don't want to see him see shucking the, and diving from woman to woman. I don't know what he's going to be doing, but I don't want to be sticking his car for doodle doo. The bad Brandon. No. I look, y'all. We are going to be reviewing the Kardashians, okay? Um, I'm yeah. only watching for Courtney, to be honest. I can care less about Kim and Chloe's we mental. We like the Kardashians. We've been watching the family for a long time. Chloe used like to be them. one of my faves, but Chloe has just become like a little puppy when it comes to following Kim around. Mm -hmm. Truthfully, Courtney has grown into her own, and thankfully, she finally has somebody who is in her corner. Because yeah. the mama got issues with her, Kim has serious jealousy with her. Chloe don't like her for some odd reason, but they used to be besties. Mm -hmm. So, all of them ain't really there for Courtney. Yeah. But I'm happy she got her Travis. Mm -hmm. She's getting engaged. They're making their own little blended family. And I'm really happy for her. What I like about them is the fact that... I like the fact that they're very, like... Transparent. You know, they're transparent. That's the word. I like that because a lot of times... And I think that's why they are popular because a lot of times people are just not transparent uh, like that so I like the fact that they're transparent and then the other thing although I think through the years they've become less so yeah right? for sure things have been more scripted but that's what I liked you know um, when they first started and then the other thing I like the fact that they took something that usually will break women you know you have this sex tape at least back in those days when the sex tapes came out and stuff like that and kind of to like shame a woman you don't do this but then the man gets accolades though right yeah for the sex tape but the woman gets shame and i like the fact that they took that and they made something with them yeah but i think what themselves. really helped so, kim with that is that she has such a I very strong it. support system such exactly. a strong family that she can so lean I, I on like through that. that i did yeah yeah, because of all the hate they get, mm -hmm. they have each also, other. So exactly. that's why it doesn't and really matter. The, the thing about the family, too. The family. Like that family, you know, we're going to kind of surround each other with I'm comfort so and support. This, yeah. You know, someone yeah. That really was the I think it's very telling. Okay, so what I liked about the date with Susie, yeah. um, it's kind of like the, how her emotions have been. Hot, yeah. cold, hot, cold, hot, exactly. cold, hot, cold. So yeah. obviously he can read her energy yeah. because he chose a very crazy date. Yeah. But it was something where they were had to be intimate, a lot of physical touch yeah. and caring and all that stuff or whatever. Yeah. But he said he's falling in love with the other women, right? He said that he's looking forward to telling Susie that I'm in love with her. I'm Not sure. falling, but I am in love with you let's talk about love baby let's talk about you and me but so, yes yeah so yeah so he's really feeling her but i thought it was really oh that cold she went into the cold water bath. oh she dipped in she, dipped she said she okay said, let's go let's go and he was sitting and she's like let's go <laughs> she said come on <laughs> <laughs> she was not but like, i am not coming back in here you it was like uh, i mean i'm chilling care. you don't like, want to come no. get next to no. She's a boy by. <laughs> I'm sure he's thinking, but I am the person here. You come and do what I want. No, come on. <laughs> and she started running. <laughs> and he followed, and like, really fun, like yeah, yeah. And I think he needed affirmation from her because he was like, you know, yeah, I, let me go last. Are we, exactly. Are we like where we were before and stuff like that? And she's like, yeah, you know, I'm okay. I had a. It was hard for me, but now I'm, I feel okay. So. But you know the theme is it's like with Michelle, right? Mm -hmm. She let all the she let Joe go first, mm -hmm. then it was Brandon, mm -hmm. then she saved Nate to last. Yeah, you know, 
Was Nate last? Nate was last. Because mm. Nate said that, you know, it's not a matter of when I'm going to go, but it's just, a, it's not a matter of if I'm going to go, but when. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he just had that confidence. Like, I'm sure she gave him a look like, don't worry, I got you, boo. <laughs> so, I also think that maybe Clayton saved his best connection for, for last. last. Yeah. Because, she, one, it seems like Rachel, I think she's, like, number three. Yeah. I think Rachel's definitely going home. I think Gabby's number two because he likes that super fun, playful thing that they have. Yeah, he, and, and then, he feels comfortable with Gabby. Yeah. He actually feels comfortable with really Gabby. Really comfortable he with likes her. Gabby. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. And then I think one is Susie yeah. because she has that side where, hey, I can bring he her home to mom, her because but she's also really fun, playful, yeah. somebody that I can really build a life with. I think aesthetically, that's who he, he would have gone for. Yeah, you know someone who has the well, she kind of has like a uh, the blondish. Yeah, it's like uh, a dirty blonde with highlights. Yeah, so. But I think ever since he she had yeah. actually went and sent him a note, and he's in that, and she like surprised him to come to the tower. Or the yes, yeah. Yes, yes. I think ever since then he has just been like he, said, he has been you. into her. Said, I love you, right? Yeah. So I think that he likes the little element of surprise with Susie. Like he yeah. can't completely read her. Yeah. So I think he also likes that. And she was the first one to tell him that he loved her. Yeah. Like she was the first one to say that. So, yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, so. I think it's very interesting. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I, my money is on Susie or Gabby being mm-hmm. the one. If I could guess, it's probably going to be Susie. Uh, Maybe. That is if she doesn't walk away. Yeah, because she's been really emotional. Who do you think will come back? I feel like Gabby. I feel like Susie Gabby, will come back. I think Gabby will come back. Why won't Gabby come back? Because Gabby's like, it's okay. I mean, she has already said she. She already told them she did. She was gonna be intimate. And she has not. She been was gonna tripping, allow him really. to explore. Yeah. So, if I she think, was gonna do that, I'm sure she assumed everybody else was gonna do the same thing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Northern Stars. Oh, is that what it is? I'm yeah. Like, oh wow. Okay. Or the Northern Lights. Oh, okay. I've heard about them, but I've never seen them. That's remember, it was in that movie, not Spirit, but it was that in that other Bear. Remember that Bear movie? Oh, with, it was animated. Oh, I did not. Um, anyway, well, I'll figure it out. Well, emotions the last week as a whole. You know, it was so easy for me to come to the conclusion that uh, this wasn't a matter of like falling in love. I was past that point. The anticipation is killing me. He said he was past that point with her. My mind. This is the biggest night. Of this entire journey. This is the biggest night. So he really likes her. Oh, wow, look at that, mama. Yeah. That's beautiful. It was very special. I felt like... She looks really like good in the green. Green, green. green is, is her, her color. color. To secure my connection with him. Yeah. This night could be, like, one of the most incredible nights of my life, and it could show me everything that I need to know and, like, move forward with him and start a future with him. Now, she didn't say sex. She said future. <laughs> Short though, honey. Oh. I think it's the longest of all the dresses. I do have so I'm the best, but I'm saying. Somebody that I start a family with. Thank you. Yep, it's certainly. I still have questions. It's a respectable length for a mini skirt. I don't know where he is with everybody else. And I know what I'm not willing to compromise on. So tonight is going to be a really big step for us. Iceland, which is absolutely wild to me, um, and everything that we went through. I mean, it's like we've had so many experiences, um, so many first times, and he made it easy to uh, embrace all, all the uh, all the wild <laughs> things we've done. I mean, I just it's so fun. yeah. The biggest moment for me was in Croatia, and. At the top of the clock tower, like for you to tell me. Yeah, you like, see, I told you that moment was the switch for him. I hadn't felt that for so in so long. It's like I almost just forgot what it felt like. And when you said it, I just remember I was like beaming like, ear to ear. I was so happy. It was like one of the happiest moments I've had in a long time. But I, I kind of walked away from it. I was like, okay, what is this I'm feeling? Since that point, I've had a lot of time to think about it and. The more that we've had, like, spend time together and spend time with your family, um, I realized, like, how serious things were getting. And 
you know, the more I thought about it, I realized that it was like that night I was also falling in love with you. You made me feel what I haven't felt in so long. And it's just so exciting when I finally allow myself to open up and feel those feelings and acknowledge them because I think I was trying to avoid them just because of how much I was hurt in the past. And I had my own walls. Hurt you. And I was so afraid to admit it. But since that point, like, it's no longer about me falling in love with you. Like, I am in love with you. See? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I wanted to tell you, it scared me to think, like, the longer I wait, oh, no. if she doesn't know how reaction. I feel, okay, I want her to know. And so, it's a lot. Well, know, she didn't know what he was trying to say. She didn't I think it looked like she was shocked at first. She's like, oh, yeah. Because I think she was thinking he was about to send her home. And I was so excited, and this just felt like the perfect time. Well, I, like, appreciate you telling me. I honestly like, didn't expect to hear that. I've, I've been very much, like, in this with you for sure. Like, you know how I feel. Like, I adore you. Like, I think you're incredible. Oh. But there are things, like, in knowing that there's an engagement, like, literally in a week. Like, there are things that I feel like I can't compromise. And, like, tonight, like, I feel uncomfortable. Like, I, I feel like I don't want to even, like, have this conversation. But I do feel like I have to tell you kind of, like, where I'm at with, like, my expectations that I'm not willing to, like, let go of in this. I know you just told me that, like, you feel like you're in love with me. But I don't know, like, do you feel that same way with somebody else? Or he's not happy. Like slept with another woman. Like those are things that like I think would be like impossible to move forward towards an engagement. Wow. Why are you telling him that now? If I'm <sighs> sharing your love with somebody else, I don't think that I would be comfortable. Like I guess my you know, would would He's you know, I understand like He's that thought process, um, and it is like for, for me. I think the big thing that I'm shocked at is like you did say to like explore like relationships, and I I felt like when we talked, it was about you know like saying like I want you to explore, mm -hmm. and and, and I, yeah, I want to be the default at the end of it. Like I want you yeah. to pick me for me and. So I want to answer your question, yes, like, I have slept with someone else here, and yes, I've expressed feelings towards someone else who's falling in love. He was honest. Now she asked him, what? I don't know if I can go through with an engagement. I know you've just told me that you're you are. Oh wait, let me just say well, let me just say one thing. I think what well, okay, let's just Ooh. talk about what happened, the reactions and Okay, so my thing is when he told her that he looked like fuck what did I just do? I thought she said I could explore. I didn't know my penis would be in trouble. <laughs> like, I didn't know my penis because would get me into trouble. Because this is the woman that I love. This is who I yet. want to be with. But I cannot believe my penis Ooh. has got me into trouble. And he just looks like... He looks... He did not look happy. And I was think. I think he was he thinking... He looked like he was getting ready to cry. Like, yeah. for him to tell yeah. her this. And she was just looking at him like... She didn't look devastated. Yet... I think she's processing it. She's trying to. I think her walls have come all. Because the way that's up. what I was saying, though, mom. Because I was saying it would be weird for him to go and say, "I have slept with all these women. I've had and I fall in love with them." And but the thing is, I felt like because because if Susie would have went and said that to him, mm -hmm. then that would give him impetus to say it because he loves her. He actually wants to choose her at the end of this. And that's what he wanted. You know to what do. I'm saying? That's if it was Gabby, he would have never said shit. 
Yeah. He would have never told nobody that he slept with anybody. But because she was like, look, this is non-negotiable for me. Yeah, he said, let me tell the that, other yeah. women just in case it's a non-negotiable for them as well. Yeah. So that's why I, I don't think, think so, he's a yeah. player. Because a player would have just been like, nah, I slept with nobody. It's you, yeah. me, babe. Or he would have said, I just feel like we we need to focus on ourselves. Yeah, he would have tried to spin it. And I don't want us to like, be thinking about other people. Like, that's I'm why I don't think he's a player. Because a player would have straight up lied. He yeah. would have played the game. He would have pimped it because out. He, because he wants to see, are you going to be here for me? Yeah. Because, um, yeah. Well, he decided to leave himself open. And he felt like leaving himself all the way open. <laughs> just. Yeah, My I'll thing is so, bro, why either. you should have had that conversation with him during hometowns before that had happened. Before the fantasy suite. Once so at least chose, he would have kept that in mind. Or once he chose you for the fantasy suite, after he had let Serena go, you should have said so to him. And says, look, I just want to say, go to his receipt, you call him to the tower. Because I, I don't think it's fair know. because it's like he didn't know. Yeah, I you want know? you to know that. And then you could have let him, then he, you could That's then... a non-negotiable, but I don't know, I'm, I'm trying, this is what I'm trying to think. I just think you didn't guys are chance. here on The Bachelor. Again, I gotta go back to that. You know this guy is going to be with 30 different women. You signed up on The Bachelor. And yet you're telling him, I don't want you to do X, Y, Z. Because then I can't engage you because I'm going to be too upset about that. If you fall in love with someone, if you have sex with someone, I don't think that you're in a position to say that. I just don't think you are. Well, you know what I think it and is? The reason I think why it's a way of giving her reassurance. I think it's a way of giving her reassurance and confidence that that is her person. If he does not go stick his penis Do in anybody, then you're mine. Do not go to The Bachelor. Then. Stay your ass at home. Go find dates out here. In, in the, the streets. streets. <laughs> Is too much. Oh my god! Yeah. Anyway. Oh my god! This is not going if to you work. Feel like you're in love with me. Like it doesn't like make sense to me to like sleep with somebody else. Like those are like the two things where I'm like feeling strong. Like coming into tonight and like moving forward. I I don't think I would feel comfortable. Like I told myself coming in this that I wouldn't fall in love with most women, but it's happened. And what I can tell you though is that where I stand. With you. There's different feelings for different people. It's not mm -hmm. like with you, I feel way different than I feel with somebody else. And I can promise you, like, that it's very special where we're at. I didn't go into this assuming that it, it was going to be me at the end of this. Yes, you did, because I'm here giving like, him ultimatums. I thought, like, certainly if he knows or, or hopes, like, has, like, an inkling of, like, a feeling of, like, I hope that it's Susie. Like, I would, like, I would hope that you would, like, protect me in that and, like, and, and I know that's maybe cutting your experience short as well, but I didn't want to ask you to do that. I just, like, if that were the case, like, I would have hoped, like, that would have been your action. So you wanted to be a mind reader. I I don't think... I hope that, like, you can see that, like, everything we went through was so very real and so authentic. And, like, I don't want you to, like, just get off and walk away on this because of that like i mean to hear you say like you don't know if you can continue forward it's just like it's just like it's the worst thing i could have heard and yeah. like i have such strong she, feelings for you like very strong feelings and she's thinking to herself yeah, that like, she's thinking that right now, this is the worst right feeling that how about you me <laughs> you just gave me a worse I feeling really when you just said like, like i mean honestly to hear all this like makes it so much worse like makes me feel worse and like makes me more sad like for all of it because like like, I honestly, like, don't feel like I knew how strongly you felt as well. And I didn't want, like, I really didn't want to give you an ultimatum. I really didn't want to say, like, I can't move forward if you sleep with other people because I don't, I didn't want you to cut yourself short in this process. But you tell me this now. It's, like, it's heartbreaking to hear, like, it's tough because, like, I do feel, like, so strongly about you and I feel, like, you're this incredible person that's like should be pissing me off at this like, second my life and been like so wonderful you've reassured like my ability to know that there's like good men out there like i don't know like i've had some bad experiences but this is something like very big to me and like i don't think i can get past those things and like 
Like, I, don't, I just don't think I can. And... I... Can we just stand fat as his sweet? It's because... Can we stay in the fantasy suites and talk about it later? Just ask her that. I feel like I, I did what I did. But had I known how important that was to you, that that was literally a deal breaker, I would have changed the way that I approached things. Exactly. I, I mean, I'm sorry that I went and did that. Like, I I asked for your forgiveness because like, I don't want to throw something away that we have that I, I feel so sure about. I do love you, and I'm, like, I didn't, like, I'm not expecting you to say it back, but, like, I would hope that, like, what we have is something that's worth fighting for. Okay. All right. No, like, I, like, I think one of my biggest fears, like, in telling you, like, oh, explore the relationships is that, like, I didn't want to have to share, like, your heart or your love, and I know you're saying, like, you would be able to, like, close that off, but it still feels like I need somebody who would have, I don't know, like, thought through that. I don't you're all the fucking bachelor! And there are times when you have you go through those challenging times and it's like, is it worth fighting for because you feel that that person like is special and, and you don't want to lose them? Let's work through it. It's like mm-hmm. that's what a relationship is, it's working through the hard times. And I, this isn't I'm hearing like every word you're saying for sure. And I just like feel terrible in general, but I don't know, like I don't know if I can get through this. Like But you I mean would any of this like you know talk through it? Like to me it's like it's worth spending an extra seven hours talking through everything and, and, and seeing if this is worth it. I mean, like, that's, mm-hmm. like, to me, like, I feel like that is worth it. And, and What's yeah, I, I agree. Like, I do think we have something special. So I don't know. It's like, it's like, I'm so confused. Can we like, just go so to the fantasy suite? To Can we just go to the like, suite? Don't say fantasy. I couldn't have imagined, like, a scenario in which, like, you become physically intimate with any other person and it's me at the end. Like, I just, I, I. No one told me I had to go sleep with somebody, okay? Like, I was in lo- I'm, I was, you know, f- having feelings of love with these, with, with, with this, with this person, and I slept with them because I love this person, so I'm gonna, like, see, like, how the physical connection is, because, like, you would just explore that. If you were in love with somebody, then you would explore that. It wasn't like I was just sleeping with somebody because I'm like, they're here. Right. So I'm just gonna sleep with them. So if I, if me sleeping with, like, with them, the more you Both. talk about it, mm-hmm. was because I've f- somehow fallen in love with three women and it makes zero sense to me. And but the thing is, is it's like I literally didn't understand how it could, and I freaked out and I cried about it because I was like, I'm gonna hurt somebody, and like this scares me. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? Like at the same time, I'm finding what I'm looking for here, and if I just continue to press forward with relationships I have, like I will walk out of here with one person because they were the best person for me. I just feel like. I don't know, like, I, I can't, I have been rationalizing, like, all week, like, every possible way this could go, and, and like, I don't think there's, like, a single scenario in which those are true, and, like, I can move forward. I'm a week out, and this is, sh- this is shattering. Like, it's like I look at it, and I see you in front of me, it's like, that's it. Like, everything that we went through. Like, you, if, you, if you felt this strongly about us, why wouldn't you have told me early on? That's what you I'm know, saying! At this point, and then you just let, you just, you just... Don't tell me until now. It's after the fact, and you're like, I'm not willing to forgive you. I can't. I can't move on. How can you do that? Like after everything we went through, after all the feelings. Is he gaslighting her? I don't know. This is too much. much. The last ditch effort. I'm very confused right now. Her walls are up. Her walls are up. You should just say, "Can we talk about it in the fantasy suite?" (gasps) She's getting up.
I mean, I mean it's like the sin. It's me and my girlfriend and the girl I'm messing with. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh my God. <sighs> Susie, yeah. it's fucked up what you did. I just. I, I want to gaslight you, but. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I the whole thing is you, you should not have come on this show. No. This is not the show for you. But I feel like she did this thing as a control thing. Yeah. Like, it's an ultimatum. For one, for you to tell me, and then two, if you don't go see with them, then you're basically saying that you are mine and that you are not going to see with but anybody she, else. But she has three of other women here. No, but that's why and she... And you're saying that he should not be saying anything to them. Like, Susie, miss me with that. But you that's should not she... have been on this show. You should not have been on this show. You should have been not on any show. You should have been doing something completely else with somebody else. But not here on TV. Um, it's really kind of stupid. And maybe, she, yeah, because... And this is coming from a woman who believes <sighs> in waiting till marriage. But, you know, well, my thing is... Well, she wait till marriage. She no, just, just wanted saying, a commitment No, I'm first. saying, like, She's for me... Yeah. i not saying that my person has to have waited or they have to yeah. be a virgin no, or whatever. No, 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 but what but she was saying is, is that like, she wants a commitment. No, I'm, I'm just sex. telling her that I think she's wrong from my perspective. No, I should, it's okay for her not to want to have sex with him until the commitment. But I don't think it's okay for, for you, you to, to put to that demand. on him. I don't think so. I don't think that's okay. With his other relationship. No, you're on The Bachelor. It's three women that he still has. What do you expect? You want him to treat them shabbily? And I think you're making a mistake. I think you guys should have gone to the fantasy suites. And just talk, you should just say, let's talk Come about on, that's this. that's why I said, Susie, the few door. shades of crazy. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Because for you to sit here yeah. and come on a show where he's dating 30 women and to think and to expect for him to not put his penis in nothing mm -hmm. and have grown these relationships over, what, 10, 12 weeks and nothing happens, you are delusional, boo-boo. You are delusional. Well, there's always, you know, I mean, I don't really expect them to come and have sex with, you know, all three I don't expect people. them to have sex with all the people, but I mean... Expect for something to happen. Something may happen. You know, you might kiss but, a neck here. You yeah, might do something here. You might a do a little rubbing up the foot exactly. there. Exactly. There is a potential, there's a potential for that potential to, happen. to happen. And he's letting you know. That's why I, feel, I almost feel like he should not have answered it. He should just be like, but then, you know, that that's where the country comes in. Where He's I'm a just southern gonna, gentleman. He's like, I'm just so going to go ahead and tell them. So he wants to just be honest. <laughs> Maybe you should have been like, um, you know something, Susie? As much as you will like me to answer that question, I am here with you. So what I don't want to do is go and start talking about connections that I've had. And, you know, I would like to actually learn more about you. There are things that I want to ask you. And, you know, can we here? Here's the envelope. <laughs> but my thing is, personally, if I was Susie, I would have just felt like you are an asshole. Why are you saying that to me? I much rather would have preferred you tell me the truth like he did. Mm. And I would have been open to us working it out. That's well, what I would have been in. But she is like it cutting it off yeah. like, no, it's one and done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I would have been open to that. Yeah. She but, wanted to be strong enough to say no to these women. But the bottom line is he's having, just like he's having feelings for you, he's having feelings for them. And yeah. you should not have been concerned about other people's relationships. You should be concerned with yours. Isn't that what we always say? Yeah. Focus on your relationship. Focus on your relationship. It's like Brandon with Tisha. Kept on wondering, what did she do? What did she do? I wonder what she did with and Zach. Zach said what it don't do. matter. The other one. I, yeah, Zach was just like, he could care less. Like, I wonder what he did. Like, I trust her to do whatever she needs to do. In order to know that to I'm the one. To know whoever she wants. Yeah. And leave it at that. So, anyway, Susie, okay. Ten minutes left. <sighs> you probably. Well, oh. Six. Mason is pacing back and forth in the snow, y'all. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? You tell me. What's going on? Where the fuck Jesse come from? I, I mean, I'm just... It's always around. Absolutely. <laughs> blown away. You know, Susie just... She asked me the question, if you slept with anybody, if you've fallen in love with anybody else, then, like, I can't continue. If that was a deal breaker to you, then why would you not tell me that? I believe, like, everything he says, and, like, and I feel it, and, like... And I don't know, I mean, you're just asking too much, but, like, at the same time, I'm not willing to accept it. Like, and I know that's, like, the truth for me, but, like, it feels so awful. Like, I feel so, you know. I mean, hopefully she comes back and she's like, okay, like, I thought about it, and 
Let's talk it out. No, she looks too crazy, bruh. No, I don't I think she's know. crazy. I think she's, she's hurt. hurt. She's hurt, but that's I mean, you're her. on the wrong fucking show. That's, that's yeah, I get that I too, her. but she's just torn me apart. Everything that I, that we went through, she just completely destroyed me. I mean, listen, listen, I'm sorry. Jesse looks like I he's crying for him, <laughs> or is it the ice <laughs> in his eyes? You have this Clayton, don't start. Don't start. She said what she had to say. Well, she was upset. Man is like he's don't losing it because he's thinking that she's not going to come back. And then he's maybe when he it. engages he's her, place. wait, maybe when he engages her, she'll say no. I 
loves you. Like every ounce of this has been real and like genuine and like and I actually feel like awful and how this has gone down tonight in every way. It's the last thing I'll say. Because of my faith, I believe everything happens for a reason. And I'm just gonna take that and move forward in my life and realize that like I had to go through this so at some point, I'll, I'll end up finding somebody that actually will stick through it and, and will understand me for who I am and will fight for me as much as I fight for them. And I thought you were that person. You're not that person. And like, this is how it's supposed to end, and I'm done. I'm done. I just. expect her to be upset yes she walked away and yes you were pleading with her but then she came back and she's like maybe I handled that wrong and that was for your turn now you say that she was unforgiving but here you are with in all your faith that you have you were also unforgiving in that sense also and like I'm done I'm done I'm done so now you had your walls all the way up that's just ridiculous I think you behave like an asshole. I told you I thought it was manipulative. I'm in shock. I don't even know what to say. Remember when he was saying, Sarah, are you trying to whatever? Remember I thought he was really harsh with her? Yeah, well. Temper. Temper. You don't need someone like that. Either. Susie. That was my biggest fear. I'm like, I'm falling in love, and this is my person, and I believe that person's out there, and... It's right in front of me. And now it's not. Now it's not. I just like how he would have had more compassion for me in the end, to be honest. Like, yeah. Regardless of what kind of love at this point. Yeah, obviously, he I also didn't show that, too. Him. Like, there's but like an immaturity to the place. that conversation kindly. No, he didn't get through that conversation kindly. He was yelling, I mean, he was acting, plumb, fool. Gaslighting her. My heart's, not in it anymore. My heart's out. It's out. It's done. It's over. It's over. And because of your faith, you gonna find somebody else and temper, temper, temper. That pride Next going week for fall. On the Bachelor. Put yourself in this situation. You screwed the pooch, in my opinion. I wish I never would have fallen in love. And there's more shocking drama to come. I want to be fully transparent. I am in love with each of you. Welcome to the rose ceremony from hell. And I also was intimate with both of you. No bachelor has ever done this before. He's going to be used by He didn't want them anymore because Susie's not here. He was. No idea what's gonna happen. Don't blame me. I'm not yourself, but you are. You're grasping at straws. <laughs> <laughs> that daddy said. That daddy said you screwed the food. Guess again. I've got some news, Dad. I think it's gonna change everything for you. Don't miss this historic moment. Monday and Tuesday night. No matter what's gonna happen, you're gonna hurt somebody. I do love you, Father. <laughs> I, I want to believe love's here, but I just don't know what's going to happen. It's the truly shocking live season finale. <laughs> it's going to be live! Let's see how deep our love can go or is, something like that. Yeah. Scuba diving. That wouldn't be fun. But Maybe there's going to be ice fishing. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that could be a thing. Um, I feel like cavern, like, you know, like, yeah. cave-ish, but not quite. <sighs> Do you know snorkeling? No. <laughs> is that a, what is it? Is that the name of a place here? <laughs> what is it? 
bunk. Um, like on, what's he called? Cave Adventures. That's oh. called. Uncle. He's called Uncle. Yeah. He's called Uncle. I think they're going full on Glen. And you know what? She can have it. You know what? <laughs> You know what? Have fun. You know what? The lagmite doesn't hit you in the ass on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Too bad. <laughs> to show where celebrities come to be like. Tots. Okay, let us. Who oh, chow? Do you chow chow? <laughs> it was hot. It was hot, okay? Yeah, I didn't like the way. And I told it's you. I was shocked. Play, he was rough with her. He was unforgiving with her. He he accused her of not being willing to fight for him. But when she came back, she says, can we go inside? He says to her, I don't even want to, I'm looking at you even differently. And I don't even know if I even want to go inside, right? Like he was unforgiving. You have to allow her to be upset. And that's what I didn't like. Like she said. I thought that he will, even at the end, treat me kinder. And he did not even give her that. Even when they were sitting at the ch on the chair at the table and she was expressing to him how she felt, then he says to her, like, I mean, do you know how devastating it is for me to hear what you're saying now? Clayton, do you know how devastating it is for her to hear? That you slept with two women and you told them you love them? It was like he was only thinking of himself. Like, this dude is immature. Serena, Sierra was right. He ain't ready for no marriage. And trying to blame everybody else but your cock a doodle doo, boo. All right. I don't, I didn't see. None of that southern gentlemen, I saw a hard-nosed brat who could not take any accountability for his own mess up that his little head got him into. And I can't even blame the little head. Because like you said, he kept on telling them he, he loves them, he's falling for them just before he gives them the fantasy suite envelope. And Susie busted out that stuff all wide open. Because she said, ah, oh, you're in love with me, okay. Well, I am just want you to know, by the way, boo, <laughs> yeah, I can't, whatever, if you slept with people and you fall in love, have you? Then you were honest with her and you want her to just swallow that and fight for you so when she went outside she's upset she doesn't want to say too many things she goes outside she's crying you go outside in anger instead of you still following behind her because you only fought for a moment at the table you're asking her you are asking her to do what you are not willing to do you said, how can she not fight for this? How can she not fight for this? And blah, 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 blah. You went outside in anger. You could have gone and be like, where is Susie? You could have gone and met her there and be like, Susie, come. Let's go back in. Let's just, let's talk about this. You know? Let's talk about, let's go for the fantasy suite. Just give me an hour or two. And if you still want to leave after that, that's fine. But let's just have this moment just to talk without the cameras, just you and I. And, you know, tell me how you're feeling. Give me a moment to apologize and all that stuff. And then sit and be patient and wait on her to decide if she's going to do that or not. But you don't go storming out. <sighs> I'm mad. I'm mad. How dare she? How dare she? All over the place. Telling Jesse, I don't even know because she was my person. I'm in love with her. You know this man. Okay, if you knew all of this, why did you go and have sex with those other women? There are a lot of bachelors who did not go and have sex with all the women. I mean, more like I said, he was a country boy that got caught up. He ain't never so, tasted but the he sweet also, life. Also, there's some character flaw in this man, man. The I'm patience so is not there. I'm just the shocked. immaturity is there. The lack of kindness is not there. And I get really sick and tired after you've done your dirt 
to start talking about religion. <laughs> like, where the hell was God when you were deciding to do this? Well, mess? he up in the chapel next time. <laughs> you could have even told the women. You could have just said it has it has nothing to do with you all. Blah blah blah. Take me but to church. You could have just said I don't want to. Even though I'm falling for you, I don't want to like go that route, whatever. But you wanted to explore and see how the intimacy will be. You already were in love with Susie. You already knew that. Come on now. You already knew you were in love with Susie when you were when you were stuttering to these other women and taking so long to tell them you're falling for them. You went around the whole circle all over the place to tell them you were in love with them. You know? So you already knew you were in love with Susie. That's why you told the other woman, I'm falling for you. Right? And not, I'm in love with you. You already knew you were in love with Susie. You knew what you were feeling. You didn't have to go that extra step. And that's what Susie is saying. I would have thought that someone who is that committed to me will not go that extra way. Now, I understand you don't need to be on the show, all that stuff. I've said all of that. However, you did not, you weren't empathetic. You didn't try to walk in her shoes. And that's what your faith probably teaches. That you're not practicing, yet you now want to tell about the faith as you're asking her to leave all unforgiving, all judgmental. And I know your faith talks about that lack of forgiveness. I know you talk about <laughs> that judging that you were doing. So don't call your faith when you ain't doing, sh you're not even following the faith. So why, why call, oh, I, you know something? I'm so mad at you. Guess what? I'm just going to use God over here. I'm just going to slap your face with it. Bye. As I hold the door, I'm just going to walk the you out. out. I know. That's what he and did. And don't let the door hit chairs on the way That's out. That's what he did. That's exactly what he did. Oh. This man's not mature. You should not be getting married to nobody. Your, your ass enterprise. Ain't a prize, okay? I'm so shocked. Sure I actually have nothing to say. I literally so have nothing note, to say. So on that note, we will see you next week. No, I do have something to oh, say, okay. though. <laughs> that mess. I just, Bruh. I cannot believe the way yeah, this I feel like a whole brat, and I think that's why here. Susie was like, he was not even kind. And that's what she said in the car. That's what she will always remember. And be like, I am so happy I'm not with his ass. Because he wasn't even kind. You are asking for her to fight for you. You're asking her to do something that you weren't even willing to do back for her. Because when she came back in there, she was like letting him know, I think I've messed everything up now. But I still have those feelings for you. And you could have said to her right then, you haven't messed everything up. I understand. You had every right to be upset. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we... You know, I don't, you know, I don't know what you'll decide, but can we talk about this and have the moment to ourselves without the cameras, just you and I, and have these, this moment to talk about it. And in the end, if you decide to walk away, you know, and that, that's okay. You could have said so. But you were so, it's like you had to stick up your behind and you just, I'm going to stand my stance. I'm going to stand my stance. I'm gonna walk. So it shows me right there. That that hurt that you said you went through in your past relationship, boo-boo, you have not healed from that. So you got to heal that so that when you're talking to people, you are having a, 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 a clear assessment of what's happening in front of you and not bringing the sprinkle of your past trauma and bringing it all up in here. Because that's what you did. Very disappointing. But like your daddy said, you're grasping at straws. Screw the pooch. You screw the pooch. Now you got to pay the price. That's what the father said. And then you, you, you were trying to blame the father. said, don't blame me. I'm not blaming you. Yeah, your father knows you, Clayton. He know you. Even, even your mama also was nodding her head. Talk about your faith. And I know they raised you up better than that. With all them uh, crosses the mama had in the, with that house. I know they raised you up better than that. But you wanted to go get your freak on. Your Let's talk about sex, on. baby. That's what it Let's was. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> cock a doodle -doo. <laughs> With the weedy all over the... Now you lost someone who you thought could have been the one. 
and she'll be okay. Just like you said, I'm, I'm going to find somebody. You know who you're going to find, Clayton, if you don't address your trauma? Someone just as crazy as you. You're going to find a shenane. Oh, she going to deal with his ass properly. Real well. Real well. She give you just as much as you give to her. You lucky you were Susie. Nice old, kind old Susie. Hot mess. Do you see the next preview? Where Gabby was just like, oh my God, you're full of shit. Did you see Gabby saying that to him? And her legs were like all raised like, up. Like, oh my God, when a woman hold her head. You're full and... of bullshit. <laughs> I know Craig was like, ooh. Sweet, okay. loving kitty. Gabby? Baby Gabby? No. And I didn't hear the baby voice, though, boy. No. That voice, <laughs> she, she said, today I will not base. take no pill. I am going to be very, very <laughs> clear. She had bass, honey. She had bass in her throat. <laughs> she said, I'm coming for you. I don't need to take anything. Today, I am here for you. I am here for you. Come on. That's who you needed. Not sweet old Susie. Susie, take yourself I back to your home. I just thought it was so confusing. Because it was not first, confusing. He was she, an no, asshole. No, wait. no, because at first she was the victim. Then he became the victim. Yes. And then he gaslit yes. her. Yes. And I did not expect that from you. Like, as and I'm watching and it, I'm like, the nerve I'm like, what the fuck is happening here? And had this the country nerve strong, to stand, gentleman. He had the nerve to stand He didn't on. even hold her hand as she's there walking yeah. on those hard-ass pedals. I know. Hoping probably knee. that she will f slip on the ice. But you see, <laughs> God, said, God said, no, no. You will not embarrass her. I will ensure that this ice that's under her feet on these steps will not let her slip. It will not let her slip. You talking like... And then you stood up with all your righteous pride and nonsense. Wrong as two left feet. But got the nerve to stand there all looking at her. And I'm sorry I raised my voice. But, you know, bruh. You were like just this tantrum ass wipe. I'm actually like Sarah said. Yes, you are the one. Now, now I'm thinking of all of that. Like what Sarah did say, you are the one like leading us on into all this stuff. You kept on putting me in the dirt. Yeah. So now we gotta look at you, Clayton. But that kind of remember I told you I said Sarah with everything that she may have done. He should not have spoken to her that way. I said so. I said it was unkind the way he spoke to her. The way yeah. he, he let her go. Like, you know, even Michelle, with all the crazy people that she had, she was <coughs> calm mm -hmm. and professional as she let them go. Yeah. There was no professional thing in a whole bachelor. You had no sympathy no empathy. You did not even walk in her shoes to know how she was feeling. You just said something to her and you wanted her to just swallow that and be okay with it. Well, and get on about the business of fighting for our love. After I have screwed two women and said I love you to both of them. But, hey baby, I'm in love with you though. As is at another level. She's just like, the past two days, your penis has been in other <laughs> holes. <laughs> and after you've done all that, now you're in love with me. <laughs> like, she's confused. <laughs> and I guess she called him, but he's out. He's a bullshit. And that's why he upset. Bruh, Clayton missed me with that mess. But we'll be here for it next time, though. We'll be right here to watch it all. <laughs> oh, oh, see, my heart can take it. I am so happy. I'm so happy that, um, uh, Susie was not there. She'll watch from home. They say it's going to be live. Yeah. I can't be honest. I actually don't give a fuck about watching it live. I actually hate it because we have to have all this little side commentary and weird jokes while I'm trying to watch The Bachelor and see the drama. I actually think y'all should stop that shit. Oh, don't nobody guys. care about it except for the people who were there. Uh -huh. I'm at home. I want to get to the end of the story. Thank you. Please it's stop be, that next um, season. It's going to be so interesting. <laughs>
sincerely oh, an and annoyed look, bachelor look, 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 look. And then watcher. And then at the end, I guess it's Clay's going to come out to the end. I think he's going to come um, by himself, Susie. probably by himself. No, but I think maybe he goes Susie to the door. may come back. That's what I'm thinking. Because he said, I have something that's going to change everything for you. Yeah. But yeah, so Clayton, you you did not do right. You 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 did not do right. You did not do right by Susie. And this girl, you could literally see her walls going up. And she has had, like she said to him, I have had some guys treat me really badly. You know what I'm saying? And and here you are, and I just adore you, and just you know, just thinking, oh my God, he's one of the good ones. Like he's one of the good ones, and, and you just ask him. That's right now, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of the good ones here. Watch this, boom. Watch this, boom. All the stuff I didn't do to the other girl, boom, boom. That who hurt me, I'm gonna do to you this time. Hey, let me get this door for you. And hey, by the way, uh, last thing, as she's telling you, I'm sorry. I, and she said, I don't think there's anything I can say to change your mind. So all and, of a and sudden, even, even there, she's trying to tell you to change your mind. But you had to say, I have one last thing to say to you. And my to faith say, will my find me a good woman who will woman. fight for our love. And I'm gonna That's be not fine. unlike you. I'm going to be okay. She, she, even though I go and cheat on her, guess what? Well, they're not cheating because they weren't really in a relationship. I know, but I mean, I don't know what good woman, like, I don't even know what she's talking about, Clayton. They were, that was not necessary. It was petty because he really likes Susie. But yeah. it was petty. It was also petty. So I don't even know if I want Susie to, to, to have any mercy for your tail. The only thing is they're both young. They're both in their 20s. So I'm going to give them a tiny little grace to say it started rocky. But I love him. He loves me. We're going to start afresh. Well, let's see. Yeah. Mm. Hot mess. I'm so baffled. I almost, I'm def, just know I'm going to be up at 5 a.m. rewatching it tomorrow. That's all I know. Because I feel just like I've got left. to whiplash because it all happened so quick. I thought when he went outside, he was going to go reach her or whatever. That's where I thought he went. He to go and then Jesse came out. Tantrum. Jesse came out the whip. Like, I'm like, where the fuck he come from? They and call Jesse, you, is he and, on standby? And, and you know something, Jesse? You didn't even give me that. I would have said, um, Okay. When Jesse is with a twenty-year-old girlfriend, and that man ain't about shit. He ain't about no relationship. Look, you can't. It's like Tommy on Ready to Love. Had that woman waiting for thirty years, then married her when he got on this show. Years. And Every day it goes up. You want that little thirty years? And had that woman waiting for twenty years, yeah. and then you want to go and marry her when you get the show on Ready to Love. Yeah. That man ain't about shit. And Jesse with his mohawk at his damn at his seventy years old, he ain't about shit. He's the <laughs> Get no sound advice because from no what, man. What, what, if Jesse, Zach was there, then he would have sound I know. advice. Zach would have just said, "Calm the fuck man. down and go you know, make it work." You know what Zach would have said? That's who they need on the show. Zach would have said, "You know something? You fucked up. Let's let's just keep it on the on the real. You fucked up. So what 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 you need to do? You need to come all the way down, and then you need to go talk to her. You gotta beg her, man. Go beg her." That's what you do. Get but this, you're going to re regret this moment for the rest of your life. If you walk Don't away, waste if it. If you walk away and act the plum fool like some asswipe, you are going to regret it. She is good people. She was just crying right now. You need to come all the way down. And be, humble yourself. And humble, your, and and just, humble your weenie. And go and, go and beg her. Beg, put your pride aside, man. Love has no pride. If Zach was there, he would have given you some good advice. But like you said, Jesse, man, I knew, I knew you were in love with her, man. You're like egging him on as though with his righteous rubbish. Talk about the cross. I know your mama is highly upset with you. She's just like this. You went and stuck your penis in three women? She gonna hit his head with the Bible. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> and then Holy water! Holy the water! The father was like, the father was like, do not blame me. And he's like, and then she gonna throw the him. water on him like he, that's what he did. He did. <laughs> he did. Holy water, activate. activate. Holy water, activate. 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 <laughs> that's what he did. Video sponsored by Ginger Snaps. <laughs> Hot mess. Oh, oh my god. I'll be there live next week. I'll be there live. Yeah, well, we what are we going to call to? Let's talk about sex. 
Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> I get so sick and tired of people calling God's name after they are done their all their rubbish. I didn't see you calling God's name when you were grabbing Gabby's behind and showing her underwear. I I didn't I didn't recall you calling God's name after you were getting all with Rachel. But you know I that's oh, why saw I wanted her to say one leg here and her don't... one leg there. <laughs> like Look, man, this is what I'm saying, though. I thought it was very telling, because Susie's not there. So, really, you had no reason to say it. But he really was saying, fuck all you people. Um, I don't want none of you. I don't want you ever come back. So, I'm going to self-sabotage you Yes. And I'm going to just say, I said, both of you. Now, y'all both on the same damn level. And I and I fell in love with both of you. He's hoping. So, there's neither one of y'all special. So, he just self-sabotaged. This man is subconsciously fucking shit up. <laughs> he's just ruining it because he doesn't he's have upset. the one he loves, right? He he's doesn't upset. have the one he loves. And he's like, I don't want you, I don't want you, because I know what that's like, and I know what that's like. Yeah, Where's that Susie at? Yeah, well, that was a shame. But he's upset, so that's why. Because yeah. I mean, if Susie was there, I can understand why he said it. But he told her already. Yeah. So why, why you? Because they even said no bachelor in history has ever done okay. this. And then you know something else? He probably doesn't want Susie to go home and tell the other women. So he's like, I'm just gonna let you go. Bruh, you should go into the fantasy suite. But anyway, let's see what happens next time. I'm going to give them a little leeway because they're both in their 20s. Susie's 28. Clayton is 27. You know, when you're in your 20s, you think you Mom, have all the time 30. in the world. Mom, they're pushing 30. Let's be honest. They're I know, pushing but, 30. But I promise you, until you actually become 30, you actually are still thinking you're in your 20s. Trust me. I've been, been there, done that. But... I, I, I am going to give them a little bit of leeway that they both, like, she got upset first, she left, then he got upset, he left, tore her t- off, then maybe they'll both come together and be like, okay, let's try it. I don't think it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if she'll be able to get over it. The only way she might be able to get over it is if she talks to, like, her mom or somebody, mm-hmm. you know, someone who's older, who might say to her, look. You went to a bachelor show. It, it, it is what it is. But the good news is, if you didn't sleep with him, right? That's a good news. But is he someone that you want? I think she was wanting to sleep with him tonight. But what she, she realized... Not, no, she had said, she said, I don't believe in sleeping with anyone. Not, I'm not waiting for marriage. She said so. She said, but I want a commitment. And right now, but if he did, there's no but commitment if, because but, but there's the no engagement. Is, but no, my thing is, though, I think that she would have. The reason why I'm saying that is because I don't. I feel like she would have because she basically is no. telling him this. Hold on, wait. She's basically telling him this now mm-hmm. that I can't be with you unless you did not have sex with them or whatever stuff. I feel she like said, that is one. Be it's a way to, you. to I don't be, see myself being engaged. She said those words. I don't see myself being engaged to you. If you have slept with them, or if you have fallen in love with them. But my thing is, though, if she was not wanting to be with him that night and feel like, okay, look, he has not slept with these women, it is me, then, because the thing is, if he had waited until to be with Susie and not with other women, then she would have felt like, okay, this is my guy. He wants to be with me, so we're going to do this thing or whatever, Mm -hmm. because it's me at the end. She would have felt that confirmation or whatever stuff. But when he went and slept with these people, obviously he's feeling like, I'm not enough, I'm not the person, because if I'm the person, he would have been able to stop himself, and he would not have said, I'm in love with them, Mm -hmm. and he would not have slept with them. That's what I feel like she would have been thinking. Because my thing is, you could have easily waited to be in a fantasy, fantasy suite to have that discussion. Mm-hmm. But she waited to before the card was given to ask that. You know what I'm saying? Because if she really wanted to know, she could have just asked in the fantasy suite. Mm-hmm. If she wasn't going to have sex with him regardless. But she wanted to know before she went. You see what I'm saying? Well, because that was a deal breaker for her. So she knew that... <sighs> Now that he said, I love you, she wants to find out because if you've had sex with them, we cannot even be engaged. There's no point in us continuing this journey. That's pretty much what she was saying. And that's how he understood it as. And she walked out, but he should have still gone, waited. If she has not gotten in the car and left, he should have just waited. I just can't believe the way he said that. Um, there's nothing else to say. Um, let me walk you out. So now you're walking me out when I was about to walk out on your ass. Really? We being petty now? You might tip for tat? 
That's what. That's exactly that gave what me did. whiplash, bro. I might literally have to sit back and rewatch this <laughs> stuff and just be like because this. I'm like, what? It all happened so fast. Yeah, it was like one like, thing after the I other. Was like, I would huh? like to see our life because <laughs> I don't know how we were reacting. It was so fast. Oh my god! Well, I was like, what is going on? Yeah. What is happening? Girl, I don't know. Clayton, I, I got you. I have to create a short for this video because this was too much. Okay. This was actually too much. Oh my god. I got nothing else to say, man, but I got a headache. I need a drink and I need to go lay down. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Literally. Yes. It's too much because I'm about to sit down order, and dissect. Like, seriously, yes. I just have this pain going from here to the back mm. of my neck. Like. I will see those little holes. I will see those little holes in here. But my, I was saying, I, but I said it. I said the manipulation also, you did. in front of saying I love you, you with did. the Swank Fantasy you Sweet you Cards. Sure you sure and did. then, you know, so. You surely did. You surely did. Mm -hmm. And guess when you see those little yellow, mm -hmm. red flags. Mm -hmm. The red flag, the red mm -hmm. banner. I know we don't have our blankets today. Yeah, the cat put all her nasty snot on it. Mm -hmm. So that had to be washed. <sighs> um, well, thank you for watching this. It's Alma and Mary. Thanks for watching the sex filled episode. I'm Mary and Alma. Yes. We invite you guys to subscribe to our crazy channel. <laughs> like, share, and comment all your crazy little thoughts. And thank this you is... for the 200 subscribers. Woo! Comment down Love all your you little guys. crazy thoughts. It's the judgment free zone, y'all. Hot mess. <laughs> We're not going to be judgmental like Clayton. I mean,. Who are we to judge anybody? Mm, mm, you just mm, two mm. people on the couch. Enjoying yeah, the TV. I mean, and look, even if we were at the top of whatever and had all the money in the world, still, who are we to, to judge, judge anybody? We're like we're a just little another dusting. Human, we're just another we're a little human dust part ball. of the human race. Yeah. Whew. All righty, people. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's, Let's talk not. about you and me. Good night.